I think we all need to recognize that no one can do damage to the American elections the way the Americans can internally. Um, this is, um, yes, there were, there were efforts um, in the run-up of 2016 to provide disinformation. There was a Facebook group, I remember Black Lives Matter, face like a group with 450,000 members. It was the largest such group. It turned out to be a Russian cutout, and it was uh, actively trying to stoke racial dissent. Uh, that, those sorts of things disturbed me greatly, but nothing close to the level of dissent, disharmony, hatred, growth of white nationalism, I mean, all, all of these things inside the United States. That's our problem. And yes, what I have seen so far um, from the new ownership of Twitter um, implies a greater level of, uh, of, of uh, anger, hatred, and, uh, and, and social media promoted violence um, on our country, on our civil society. I don't think this is Elon's intention. I think it happens to be incidental to the business model. That's a problem. It's not just a Twitter issue. It's a Facebook issue, social media issue. We, for a very long time in this country, um, have been allowing A-B testing to occur on ourselves, the body politic, and on our kids, not on the basis of what's better for civil society, but on the basis of what's more addictive to ensure that our data can be controlled and sold. No one needs to tell anybody here that that's bad for our democracy. But uh, it, it, it is very clear to me that um, the combination of the disunity of the country right now and the social media platforms that have more influence than they ever had before not only is a principle, a fundamental danger to US democracy that's far greater than China or Russia is, but also happens to be one of the principal exports of the United States globally that is undermining the democracy of our allies. We need to take this more seriously, in my view, than anything else affecting us in this country post these elections. <laughs>